Okay, so good morning class. So, ang topic natin for today is finding the end behavior, the number one. So, these are all in polynomial function po. Ah. So, quarter two po tayo. Okay, so we have x and then the y-intercept, multiplicity of its roots, number of turning point, and then sketch natin yung graph. Okay, so let's do it. <laughs> So, before we go to the end of behavior, so this is the definition for polynomial function. We have f of x is equal to a sub a sub n, so x raised to n plus a sub n minus 1, x raised to n minus 1 plus up to ax plus a sub 0. So, a sub 0, so ito po yung ating <coughs> constant term na tinatawag. Okay, so this is the constant term. So, ito naman po, ito yung gagamitin natin in end behavior. So, this is the leading coefficient. Okay? So, again, so this is the leading coefficient. And then, itong nasa taas is the degree. Okay? So, again, so this is the degree. And then, this is the leading coefficient. So, magagamit natin yan in uh, end behavior. So, Okay, so check po natin. Okay, so for end behavior, so kailangan muna natin ng leading coefficient test. So when I say leading coefficient, ito yung uh, kapag uh, standard form natin, siya yung una nating makikita, yung number na nasa bungad. Okay, magkaiba ang, ang leading coefficient sa leading term ha. Okay, so yung n natin is the degree. When I say the, the degree, it is the highest exponent. Okay. So, if we have n as 0, yung, uh, 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 yung n daw natin ay add, and then yung ating leading coefficient ay positive. So, yung graph natin is uh, from left, so falling, uh, fall to the left, and rises to the right. So, pag ganun ba siya? From here, paakit po siya. And then, kapag negative naman, yung leading coefficient natin, and then we have the add, yung ating exponent so magsisimula po tayo rito so we have rise to the left and then fall to the right okay kung okay so kung yung ating uh, degree is even naman and then positive and then degree natin is even and also kapag uh, negative naman so ganito yung magiging behavior ng graph niya so, kapag even and then we have the positive. So, parang naka, naka ganyan lang. So, ibig sabihin, both of, uh, both of the graph is rising to the left and then to the right. So, okay. And then kapag uh, even naman and then negative, uh, nasa baba lang naman po. So, lahat sila is uh, falls to the left and right. So, ganyan po yung end behavior. Okay? We go to example number 1. So, in example number 1, in finding the end behavior, so, pag ganito yung given, so, kung papansin ninyo, uh, this will be our uh, leading coefficient. So, we have negative 2. So, kung negative ang leading coefficient natin, and then, so, napin natin yung degree. In finding the degree, so, meron tayo ritong 3. Okay, so this is 1 and then 1. Okay, so we have 3, 4, 5. So, magiging this become 2 x raised to 5. So, meron tayong uh, leading coefficient as uh, negative. And then, yung ating degree will be uh, add. So, yung graph natin, so katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, so, kapag ang add, ang degree is add, and then we have the negative, ang kanyang leading coefficient. So, from uh, left, fall, uh, rising to the left, tapos magpo-fall sa right. So, ganyan po yung magiging graph ni, uh, ni y is equal to negative 2 times the quantity x minus 2 times x plus 1 cubed times x plus 3. So, ito po yung kanyang uh, end behavior. So, ibig sabihin, uh, rises 
to the left okay left and fall to the right yan po yung kanyang end behavior okay okay next so paano naman kunin yung x and then the y intercept okay so the same yung ating ano ha, uh, example so in finding the x intercept so set natin si c uh, si y as 0 so this become 0 is equal to negative 2 x minus 2 x plus 1 cube and then x plus 3 okay then set natin bawat isa sa 0 okay so this become x minus 2 is equal to 0 so opposite lang ni negative so we have x is equal to 2 so this is uh, 2 and then 0 okay so we have x is equal to 0 and then yung isa naman is x plus 1 is equal to 0 so this is x is equal to negative 1 okay, so we have negative 1 and then 0, kapag igagrap natin then, then sa kabila naman so we have x plus 3 is equal to 0 and then we have x is equal to negative 3 or negative 3 and then 0, so yan po yung pagkuha ng x intercept okay, so para naman kunin yung y intercept so y intercept kung kanina yung uh, yung y ginawa natin 0 ngayon naman in finding the y intercept yung x naman ang gagawin natin 0 okay so madali lang naman so we have uh, negative 2 0 minus 2 times 0 plus 1 cube times 0 plus 3 so ayan po okay so this become negative 2 times 2 times so 0 plus 1 so 1 uh, times uh, raised to 3 so 1 pa rin siya and then this is 3 and then multiply natin para makuha natin si y so we have 2 times uh, negative 2 times negative 2 this is 4 times 1 so, uh, and then times 3 okay so this is 12 so yan po yung ating ay sorry so yan po yung ating magiging y okay so, number 3 na tayo, finding the multiplicity of roots. So, kapag uh, ganito yung given, mas madali nating makukuha yung multiplicity of roots kasi naka-factor na siya. So, kukuhin na natin. So, so, we have x minus 2. So, ang multiplicity nito is, so this is 1. Okay, dahil dito po sa kanyang uh, degree o yung exponent niya. And then, para sa x plus 1, cube ang multiplicity nito is 3. So, ayan po. Okay? And then, so we have x plus 3, ang multiplicity niya is 1. So, ganun lang po pagkuha ng multiplicity. Okay? So, kailangan nakafactor po. Pag hindi nakafactor, i-factor po natin. Okay? So, ayan. So, number 4 na tayo. So, number 4 naman is uh, hanapin natin yung number of turning points. So, kapag sinabi natin turning point, so, it is the point on the graph where the graph changes from uh, increasing to decreasing. Yung parang uh, rising to falling or falling to rising. And then, uh, para makuha natin is a polynomial degree n will have uh, at most n minus 1 turning point. So, yung formula natin will be n minus 1. So, kunin muna natin yung degree. So, kanina, uh, nakuha natin yon in sa n behavior. ba? We have negative 2 x raised to 5. So, ito yung uh, uh, leading term natin kapag uh, multiply natin to. So, okay. So, uh, ito yung kukunin natin para makuha natin si turning point. So, we have n minus 1. So, n yung degree natin. So, 5 minus 1. So, we have 4. So, 4 will be our turning point. Okay? Okay, so ito na po yung panghuli. So, we have, we have to sketch the graph. So, in sketching the graph, so gagamitin natin yung uh, nakuha natin kanina. So, the first one, so yung nakuha natin sa x and y, in, uh, x intercept. Okay, so kanina, ito is positive 2. So, we have 1, 2. So, ito yung positive 2 natin. Okay? And then, this one is negative 1. So, ito po yung negative 1. Okay? 
And then, this one is negative 3. So, ito po si negative 3. And then, uh, using the end behavior, so, uh, we have negative 2, x raised to 5, 2. Nakuha natin kanina, diba? So, so, yung ating uh, rising to the left and then falling to the right. So, ginanyan ko para alam natin. Okay, so, ang magiging uh, graph niya will be, so, this is x so, ito. So, 1 lang naman. So, parang bababalan tayo ng ganun. Okay? And then, for x, so, yung kanyang uh, graph for x plus 1 cube, so, uh, parang mag, uh, ano lang siya ng konti. Okay? <coughs> Sakit siyang ganyan. Okay? And then, bababa po pa ganyan. Yan. So, yan yung kanyang magiging graph. Okay po? So, from here, uh, from left, and then, babaksak sa right. So, sana may natutunan for that example. Mamaya, uh, set po tayo ng example if yung given is uh, hindi pa nafa-factor. Okay? So, uh, shout out daw sa 10 Estrada. Hindi ko nasasabihin kung sino. Baka magtampol hati. Okay? Salamat po. Mag-aaral mag